we got some watermelons. Oh, just kidding. These are acorn squash. And then these on this edge are cucumbers. So that's pretty cool. These are the older leaves too. They may just be coming off and like dying, falling off and everything. Cucumbers, they look pretty good. This is my favorite fruit right now. Let's get down. This is my favorite. This bed has watermelon and corn. I'm gonna plant some more corn today. Um, but I just love how this plant grows. This plant is just so pretty. It looks like, like what I imagine Rapunzel's hair would look like. You know what I mean? If she was like Samoan or a Pacific Islander and she had like some curls, you know what I mean? But um, I just love this plant, it's so pretty. So I'm looking specifically for this one because there is a bug that we have beef on site. On site. It's, it's they know what's up. I know what's up. It's like basically a turf war and they're called squash bugs. And so I'm making sure because once they get into something, it's like, oh, it's a wrap, it's a wrap. You know what I mean? So that's one of the things that you want to nip in the bud as soon as you can. And uh, they like to lay their eggs on the undersides of leaves and their eggs are sticky and their eggs are hard. So you have to scrape them off But most like eggs for most like pest you can kind of just spray it off you know what i mean like have your uh water hose on like uh what is that called the feature where it's like jet yeah you can have your water hose on jet and you can clear off most of the eggs from pest and stuff not squash bugs they said you're gonna have to work for it and you have to literally scrape off the the eggs from the underside and all they do is eat and do it that's all they do so they they reproduce at a crazy rate um they don't have any natural predators so there's like nothing that eats them um just naturally and they have a hard exterior shell so that means essentially you have to like squish them but okay this is a side note right i don't know if this is going to be usable footage or not but i'm going to tell you <laughs> because you're here so when i was farming at the doolittle garden the senior garden and i had some squash bugs right it was very like you know how uh like 300 starts and it's like Whoa! like that it was very much like that like it was a colossal war that we had going on it was the spartans and the trojans it was it was crazy right and so what i would do because i'm petty is i would kill them i'd smash them because you have to kind of you have to smash them right or you can put them in a bucket of soapy water, but them things survive, especially if they're big. So I'm not even about to play with that. Um, so I would squish them and I'd be like, yeah, y'all know about me. And then I put their bodies back into the, into the soil now, cause I thought I was doing something, you know what I mean? Little squash bug graveyard, let them know. But then come to find out their bodies, their dead bodies, like expel some sort of scent, you know what I mean? And so the other ones would stay away from that. So not smart, not smart on my part because they would be like, oh, this is a squash bug, you know, graveyard. Let's avoid this area. And I would be like, I don't see anymore. And I would think that it was gone, but they was never really gone. They wasn't, they was just being sneaky. But now I know, now I know. They ain't gonna catch me slipping twice, you feel me? But yeah, so looking underneath, making sure I don't see anything on the undersides of the leaves. Something try to make out with me just now. Now we will check each plant. Come around and check that. It's such a pretty plant. It's so pretty. I want to name it. I'm going to name it Glenn here. Oh, that's just dirt. So eventually these will grow so big that they just cascade over these beds, um, which is also very pretty. But 
is another very easy way to get pest inside of the bed because then they got something they can just climb on. Everybody's looking all good and happy and stuff. I like that for them. Go ahead, little baby watermelon. I'm not seeing anything alarming or concerning. Which is very good. Because um, this is a squash bug free zone. I don't play that. If you see him out there in them streets, tell him shy don't play that and I'm coming for him. You got beef in a real way. Like I know people who have completely not grown, grown squash once, got squash bugs and just never did it again because they are just rude. Um, these are some purple beans that are coming up. So I'm gonna trellis these today. I also planted in between. So the ones that are standing up right here, these are the more uh, established ones, but I did plant some new ones yesterday. And then we have some more, this is also um, watermelon. So I have beans and watermelons, and then I have watermelon and corn. Um, and then I'm not seeing any difference on this bird either. That's a small thing coming up, but no signs of germination. Um, this plant is grass. Pull that. Oh, totally a grass. And this is what I was talking about as far as like baby kale. Like that looks like a little kale leaf right there. You know what I mean? So that that is a true leaf. And then we have some little, I think this is a Swiss chard. Yeah, Swiss chard. Some little Swiss chard. It's starting to come up. But again, everything is in the process of being turned and fertilized and flipped so that we can have a really, really awesome fall harvest, which is what I want um, to make sure that we were able to provide. I learned a lot about kind of executing, um, having like different time frames, making those time frames uh, based off of what I'm growing, when I'm growing it, when I want it. Because Vegas is actually one of the, it's pretty ideal for growing. So I have a lot of options. I don't necessarily have to play by the rules, which is perfect for me because I don't like that. So now we're going to go over to the compost and we're going to go get dirty.